don't quit fighting. So don't quit fighting. He came home a few weeks ago to Rosa Light. He told me, preacher, preach. That's what he left me with. And I want to leave him with this. Don't stop fighting. Because God already knows your end. Now folk don't know your end. But God already knows your end. So let me move on here. Jeremiah 29, 11, false of peace. This assures that God's instructions to begin the blessings of Israel. But let's, let's leave Israel and come here to the prospect. False of peace was to ensure that God was going to put a blessing upon the servant in whom he sent to this house. Now I need you to understand this. That God can bless anyone he chooses. And I need some other folk to understand this too. Because it's your, it's your topic, you picked it. He says, I will give you pastors. According to my heart. Some of y'all ain't pastors. Some of you've been called. And that's what the word of God says. Many are called. But few. that we're dealing in a society where we bother we got more called folk than chosen folk. And called people want to try to hold a, a chosen position. And it kind of gets God upset when he knows the faults that he has for them. And then they want to try to outfit God. You've just been called. Stick with the calling. Because when he chooses you, he places you in a position called servants. And a chosen man can do a whole lot than a called man. Because a chosen man is positioned with the armor to take the mess that comes toward him.
some of us in here will bust our minds wide open trying to, trying to figure out what this man goes through on a day-to-day -day basis. It's his party, y'all, so don't talk to him. And so you get upset because pastor don't do it the way I said he should do it. You get upset because pastor has taken my name off the program. And you get upset because pastor ain't called me knowing that I'm at home sick. Well, how many of y'all called him? And so he listened. He said, the coming calamity in, in the world, the word says that ye shall have tribulations. And so God already knows that your tribulations are coming. But he wants you to understand now, that I've got the thoughts for you. So in other words, I want to leave you with this one. Stop thinking and just do what God tells us to do. We ain't got to worry about nothing. Because I truly believe that since God has my thoughts in already in order, that all I got to do is walk in the order that God placed me in. And the problem with call folk, they don't know their order, and they always stepping out of line, want to get in front of somebody to be seen. Can I go here today, y'all? And I promise you, I think I might leave you alone, but can I go here today? You know when you've been asked to just get up and pray over the offering, and you go down to Big Mama House in Mississippi, and then come on up the way of Georgia and bother Uncle Bud, then slide on down to Tennessee where Aunt Hattie live, and then come on up to Michigan where Junebug them is, and then by the time the service is over, you remember to pray for the offering? That ain't what God asked you to do. He said, just pray for the offering. <laughs> Try to get you one in that you've been practicing at home. It's devotion, and you supposed to be ushering God in. And here you is talking about, my Lord, why don't you come down and, and see about me? All you got to do is say, God, we welcome you in here tonight. <laughs> Learn your position. Understand that God already has the chosen person in place. Understand, Doc, that his thoughts are for us. The plan has already been laid out. I learned in five years, you're in four, I'm in five, I learned in five years to just follow God's plan. I already know that I'm going to make some people mad, but that's all right. I already know that I'm going to step on some toes, but that's all right. Because God put it like this, when he gives you an aisle, you should move your feet out the aisle when the chosen one starts to walk. Away. Because when you look at him, you can tell that he's not uh, the ram of just a man. Uh, you can be able to see the glory of God uh, all over him. Uh, that's why when, 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 when the word went forth, uh, that there was some folk that couldn't hold it and, and had to come up to and apologize because they knew that they did not only forsake the man, but they had stepped on God's toes. And when you step on God's toes, God gets upset when you step on his blue suede shoes. He gets really mad and he starts to beat you down. And the long of God beat you, can't nobody get a hold of you. It's this one thing I learned that when God is whooping on me, I know how to go where the force is and say, Doctor, I'm sorry. Didn't mean it. I will apologize. Will you please accept my apology? Walk away and say, Lord, please don't let me ever go down that avenue again. He says, I know the thoughts should have for you. So God already knows the present, he already knows the calamity. And here's what he said, he said, I also know the future that's for you, a deliverance is for you. He said, I already know your happiness is for you. Here's what God wants you to understand. He said, the Lord thoughts will be without any, the Lord, the Lord thoughts will be without